Hey, Jill. Hey, Kurt. <gasps> Movies? On your snacks. No. Hello, good evening. This is your host, Club Brathwaite, who's now 20, who I, who's 27 as of right now. That is, I am the host of the Club Animal Sports Board. Coming to you live right here in Lisa, Virginia. And welcome, ladies and gents, to, to my 27th birthday edition of the Khalil the High Level Sports Report. That is, it is live right here. I told you guys the 27th birthday live stream is right here, right now, and it is live today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get you guys the fact that my 27th birthday is today. Happy 27 to me. I'll tell you guys about the fact that the Dodgers have walked down as seventh time World Series since 88. By the way, that's 32 years the making, and and they all did so pay homage to late great club Brian Justin Turner had well coronavirus he was pulled out and he may have violated the coronavirus protocols. I'll talk with you guys also about the fact that Terrence Terrence Davis has been arrested for domestic assault. By the way, Terrell Pryor and his girlfriend Shalea Shalea Briston have been given probation. By the way, I'll talk with you guys about the UWM primetime live episode several results. Tracy Smothers has died from at this battle from lymphoma. The Wisconsin versus Nebraska that game has been um, canceled. That's been game's been canceled. The number of COVID cases in the uh, Badgers program. I'll tell you this about the fact that Mike Dunlap he has been um, released. He has been he has been sent to the um, he has now been sent to the Seahawks. By the way, and well. That's a that's a pretty much good move. Just at the very least on that note. So um So that that's all there is to anybody on that note. So there's nothing more to it I could say. And Carlos Dunlap's been traded to the uh, Seahawks. Let's let you guys know on that note. So there's nothing more to it, by the way. So that's all I gotta say. I will start things off with the fact that it is my 27th birthday today. Wish me happy birthday. Wish me, wish me happy 27th. Wish me happy 27th birthday. My birthday. My 27th birthday is today, everybody. And that is that is all there is to it, by the way. And this is a 27th birthday. This is the Khalil Herald Sports Board 27th birthday edition, by the way. So it is a must see. It is a must watch. Hope you guys enjoy this one. And that's all I can, I can say right there, everybody. And that's all there is to it. All right. So I'm going to start thing. So I'm going to move on to the fact that the Dodgers. They have walked out, and and they did return the favor, ladies and gentlemen. Ago, the Dodgers are going to turn the favor. Did they? Yes, they did. The Dodgers, ladies and gentlemen, they have walked out as seven-time World Series champs in over thirty-two years since '88. That's been a long year drop for them. I'll tell you that right now. This is Clayton Kershaw winning his first World Series title, and Co- Corey Seager, he became a World. Series World Series MVP. I'll tell you that right, right now. Now, Justin Turner, he did have coronavirus, by the way, but he was supposed to be sent home. But um, he he came back to the field and celebrated with the teammates. That's that's really not looking good there. So, not looking good there. So basically, back to the Dodgers. By the way, they did they paid homage. They did they won the world. They won their they won their seventh World Series title to pay homage to. Great Kobe Bryant, by the way. So basically, that's a really good move. I can tell you that. Really good move. And that's all there is to it for now. I could say. So that's all there is to it. For now, everybody. And well, that's all. That's all I guess. So once again, by the Dodgers, they return the favor by. Being seven-time World Series champs, they pay homage, and by doing so, they pay homage to late great Kobe Bryant. Vanessa Bryant's got a smile on her face. Late great Kobe Bryant and GJ got smiles on their faces from the heavens. God rest their souls. Kevin LeBron James got a smile on their face. Now the now the now the now the um, parade, the LA parade, has been officially postponed due to COVID issues. So, um, really, that is all there is to it. So, just turning the flip side, he had coronavirus. And he should not be on that field. He should have stayed home. But he was pulled from the eighth inning of that game, by the way. That's not safe. 
be obeyed about that, obviously. So clearly, him and his wife, yeah. What can the NBA it, learn from what happened? Hope that doesn't, hope that doesn't assume ever again. Because clearly, Joe Turner, that is, I mean, he should have just, like, stayed home, but he, he shouldn't have came back. That's just a little call for, by the way, and he may have violated the, the, the COVID-19 protocols is what he did. So hopefully he gets it together. So that's all there is to him. I mean, he, he, he was sold in the ninth inning, by the way. The eighth inning, by the way, to um that he had coronavirus, but he was supposed to be sent home. My uh, and then midway in the game, and which is why they he should. My, my, the point is, my point is, have been staying home, and um, yeah, that 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 is all there is you need to know. And well, obviously, he probably he should have known, but he should just like stayed home and just like. So you know, he should just like stay at home for once. The only problem is it's not just their decision. And uh, that's all there is to it. And um, really, yeah. So um. That's all there. That's all there is. So, so, so the Dodgers players, they would have distanced. They would have been distancing themselves. Honestly, um, apparently he should just. He, apparently he he had no business being back. So, um, really, it makes Adam Silver, Michelle Roberts, everybody involved in the NBA. That's not not a good look there. Great, because they stuck a guy in quarantine and went to get Uber Eats. They went to put money through anywhere. The security was and apparently, and everybody followed it, and everybody came out healthy. If anybody besides Turner now comes out positive, doesn't feel great, it's not just on the Dodgers, it's on apparently. baseball because they didn't have the will to stop him in the moment like the NBA did. And um, honestly, throughout the bubble. Well, look, I certainly don't think if that situation had come up during the NBA Finals, we would have seen the NBA handle it the same way, just based on, as you guys both said, what they did for all of the protocols that we had to go through. And Nick, I know you were up in the yellow zone of the bubble as well. So we all encountered it in different ways. It's also a reminder why even, you know, I sat with Adam Silver for an interview. So um, you're really the third or fourth game in the NBA finals. And we were saying, wow, this is, experiment has worked so well. And he said, not yet, not yet. We don't know yet. And the NBA really had that attitude throughout the entire playoff. That's all that's all I can say on that note. And um, yeah. Even apparently in the eighth inning of the I think the NBA, NHL, and MLB can learn something from this. That's all there is to it for that. So hopefully that doesn't ensue there. So just to should be staying home for once. And that's all I could say. And that's all there I could say in that. So it did for sure. And uh, clearly that, that did not look good there. So hopefully for once he uh, learns his lesson. So let's see on that note. So, so basically, Dodge, so Lakers and Dodgers, they they won World Series, they they won titles. So, City of LA was a full effect yet again, and I'm surprised. And this is a big surprise. And this is, and that's well, pretty much a big surprise. To a lot of people out there, and uh, I think a lot, I think Lakers and Dodgers fans were. Um, and clearly, this is end, something a lot of people, early on when they try you know, didn't want though. So, I, so I mean, probably, probably request this to happen, and all of you guys did. So that's all the rest I can say on that note. I want to move on to another topic. I want to address to you here, by the way, everybody. Wisconsin, the Wisconsin versus Nebraska football game has been officially canceled because of the uh, numerous coronavirus cases in the Badgers program. So that's really not looking good there. That's what we're playing this week, but that that game won't be happening, by the way. So once again, by the Wisconsin versus Nebraska football games, we canceled due to the. That's all I can say. 
this about after the championship, if the Lakers would have won that championship, and, um, yeah. which they did, what are we going to do with the families? Are we going to let the owners come That's all there is to it, I can say on that note. So it's obviously there's nothing more to it, everybody. And um, yeah, they and they meant like we scheduled this game, I, I'm assuming. So I'm not saying anybody, but I'm saying is that you can break the quote unquote you can burst it because it is over. There is no more. If everyone gets COVID and the championship is done, obviously um not looking good there. Before the series was finished. And so they didn't handle it right. Look, as long as look, I don't want to say no harm, no foul, but yes. And that's all that's all I can say on that note. So it's obviously um really not surprising there. So they could switch this game, but that's not looking good. Though. So Wisconsin football game versus Nebraska, that game's been canceled because of the coronavirus cases and the Badgers program, so it's not, not looking good there. Also, some uh, really, really sad news here. I want, I want to point out here, by the way. Tracy Smothers has been deceased after his long battle with lymphoma. He was a, w, he was a, he was a member of WCW's um, Southern Boys and Young Pistols. ECW, as a member of the full, full-blooded Italians, he was a WWE as Freddie Joe Floyd, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, and more. He dealt with heart issues and and her and her near trouble most, by the way. So it's really not looking good there. And my thoughts and prayers out to Trace some other family members, all of his fans, all his viewers, the entire WWE universe. Impact Wrestling, NWA, Ring of Honor, and many others out there. So, um, that's all I can say on that note right there, everybody. And, um, yeah. So, that's all there is to everybody. So, act a certain way, and we've had modeling in this country from some key figures, people not doing it, and it is causing other people in the country to. That's all I say on that. No, right back, everybody. So, hopefully, Justin Turner feels okay. He said he wasn't showing any symptoms. Hopefully, the rest of the Dodgers, we wish them all good health. Congratulations, thank you. Let's go. All right, coming up, LA is indeed title town. Magic Johnson just keeps winning. We'll discuss the LA titles and how it impacts Magic's legacy. First, though, here's a distant replay from this date in 2009 featuring No! Oh, I remember this one. Oh! There you go, Nick Friedel. That's for you. Oh, my. Oh, who was on that? Who was that? All right, sorry, buddy. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, man, I really appreciate that Patrick Price on my insurance, Jake from State Farm. Being a champ has the perks. Here's the deal, Patrick. So I'm really. So once again, everybody. Um, Tracy Smothers has been deceased at 58 from. Like We're not looking good there, and um, hopefully, that's where he's out there. His family members and his fans had this horrific loss, and um, really, it's it's just um, not looking good there. So, hope so. This is a really big loss, and um, that's all I can say on that note. So, that's where he's out there. His family members, so, re- so you just ask to rest the peace, Tracy Smothers, and uh, that's all you guys got to do, everybody. Tell me what your friend Momo was, and that's all I got there is to it. Now, now there's I want to point out, by the way, that uh, Carl, another news. Carlos Dunlap, Dunlap has been traded to the Seahawks for B.J. Finney and a seventh-round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. So, really, that's a big move there. The trade deadline is is uh, next week, by the way, November 3rd, everybody. So, make sure to check that out. And that's all I got to say on that note right there. And also, another news I want to point out to you, by the way, that at the UWN Primetime Live Episode 7 results, Ray Rosas defeated Kevin Martinson. The Bodega defeated Real Money Bros. Serena Deeb walked out as the new NWA Women's Champ, by the way. Now, she will be defending that NWA Women's Champ, Women's title against legit Layla Hirsch, by the way, tonight on AEW Dynamite, by the way. So that's a big move there. Dirty Daddy Chris Dickinson defeats Peter Avalon. So to advance the semifinal round of the UWN title. 
Town tournament, by the way, semifinal. So, um, really, that's all this. Now, Serena Dean, by the way, now she is a former man classic competitor. Now, she was she was a former straight edge society member, CM Punk, and uh, Luke Gallows. She also could be in the May Young Classic. She is signed to AEW, by the way, and she's now the she is now the new eight. She is now the new NW Women's Women's Champ, by the way. She'll defend that title tonight. Against legit Layla Hirsch on AW Dynamite, by the way, live on TNT. That's tonight, uh, by the way. So this is really big move there, and um, that's all there is to it. So, I mean, I, I honestly thought Thunder Rosa was going to re retain the the NWA Women's title. That didn't happen. So, question is, what lies ahead of uh, Thunder Rosa, and where should go from there? So, what do you have to say about that? What do you think of Ser Serena Deeb walking out as a new NWA Women's sh Champ and defending it? Tonight on AW Dynamite against Legit Layla Hirsch. So, with that's about that. And that's all I got to say on that note. And, um, yeah, that is all there is. That, that, that is all I can say. So, congrats to Serena Deeb walking out as a new NW Women's Champ. It was a big, what a big honor that is. A big achievement that is. And that's all I can say on that note, everybody. So, that, that's all I have to it for now. Just so. All I got to say. And that's one point I hear, by the way, that, um, Terrell Pryor gets a 90 days of probation in return for a guilty plea to harassment charge and a misdemeanor symbol assault charge was dropped. He was st he was stabbed and hospitalized by his by his girl things by his ex girlfriend Shalala Bristol, Bro, Briston by the way. So he was stabbed November 30th, 2019, last year. Now Shalala Briston, who stabbed Pryor, got got two years probation after pleading she pled guilty to a simple assault simple and she. Tease probation after pleading guilty to simple assault and she faced charges of felony attempted homicide and aggravated assault. So we're not looking good there. And hopefully they get together and try to get themselves together. So it's not looking good there for them. So gotta get together there. Now this one I want now this one point eight, by the way. Raptors guard Terrence Davis has been a, has been arrested and charged for domestic assault after repeatedly socking his, his ex in the in the new in the in the face numerous times. Davis stayed with his ex at the Beekman Tower in Mid Midtown Manhattan, New York, when uh, Davis and um, ex they got into an argument. His ex girlfriend got into an argument. By the way, it escalated after Davis Davis's ex girlfriend refused to stop filming Davis with their phone. Davis would grab the phone, shatter the screen. Now police would arrest Terrence Davis and charge him with a misdemeanor assault and criminal mischief. Now Davis's ex girlfriend was taken to a hospital for swelling and pain in the left eye, and she was treated for injuries and re released, by the way. Now, if Terrence Davis is, is uh, convicted of these charges, by the way, of domestic assault, he does, he, he does, however, get life behind bars. So that is all there is I can say on that note right there. And um, that is all there is I can say on that note right there. And this is a... Um, not look good for Terrence Davis. And it's likely that Terrence Davis could be released in the Raptors, by the way, sent for this incident. So that's all I can say on that note right there. And then hopefully it gets it together. Because it's really not a good look for him. I can tell you that. Really not looking good. Look, look, really not look good look there. And that was one point here, by the way. I'm just against by the fact that three Miami Ohio Ohio football players and one individual had were charged in the um fraternity house brawl, by the way. Massive brawl. So Names are James Bamba, Dimitri, Meso Paloga, and Terrell Rush. They were charged, and also Santiago Sangri. They were charged. They were charged. And to get into a brawl at the um, Theta Chi, Theta Chi at Fright House in the Oxford, Ohio, the campus. Left numerous people hospitalized. Bomber was charged with simple assault and criminal charge, criminal trespass. Mitsopoulos, Mustapoulos was charged with two counts of assault and criminal criminal trespass and one count of disorderly conduct. Rush. Now Rush was charged with with trespass. Now. He was clear of the he was clear of the charges. By the way, he was not involved in the incident. 
These three players are, are suspended from the team and can face repercussions. One person said someone got hit in the face with a golf club, suffering a broken orbital. Numerous numerous friend members say that there was an incident at the front house previous on the previous night when members told an uninvited guest to leave. Now some attackers would have, would um, show up to the house in masks, hoodies, and gloves. People tackle with each other and through haymakers, by the way. Now, the fourth individual was my name, Santiago Sangre, by the way. He is he has an arrest warrant on trespassing charges. So, um, that is all I can say on that note right there. So, once they find the fourth individual, they will arrest that person. And that, that's all I can say, everybody, on that note. So, hopefully, that will ensue. And... That's all I had to say on that note. And well, pretty much they hope that some things over it. And if they and if they convicted these charges, now they're spent for the team, but they're kicked out from the team. That's it for them. So nothing more I can say on that note, everybody on that note. So that's all there is to you to know. And um, yeah. Not look good there, really not look good there. That's all there is to it, everybody. Also, I want to address you guys about the um BT twenty twenty hip hop awards, by the way. The hip hop bars of the year will be Mega D Stallion. The song of the year goes out to the the box produced by Thirty Rock and That Boy Squeeze, Roddy Rich in there. Hip hop album of the year goes to Roddy Rich. Please excuse me for being antisocial. The best new hip hop art, artist goes to Pop Late Great Pop Smoke. God rest his soul. Hustle of the year goes to Make It The Stallion. The best hip hop platform goes to the Joe Button Podcast. Sweet sixteen, Sweet sixteen, the best feature verse goes to um. Beyonce Savage Remix with Mega Thee Sign Mega featuring Beyonce Savage Remix. The impact track goes to Little Baby, The Bigger Picture. By the way, Best International Flow goes out to Stormzy UK. Best Hip Hop Video goes to Future featuring Drake Life is Good. Best Collaboration goes to Mega Thee Stallion featuring Beyonce Savage Remix. Best Duo Group goes to. Um, C Breeze and Chris Mighty Young Thug. Best Live Performer goes out to Travis Scott. Lyricist of the Year goes out, goes out to Rhapsody. Video Director of the Year goes to um, Tiana Spike Lee Taylor. DJ of the Year goes to D Nice. Producer of the Year goes to Hit Boy. And well, that is all there is. That, those are your, those are your 2020 BET Hip Hop Awards results, everybody. And uh, that is all I got to say on that note. So. That is all there is. Everything you need to know right there. So that's all there is. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I want, I want to send my congrats to um, Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton, the judges from The Voice, by the way, everybody. So send congrats to them. They, they just announced they got engaged yesterday. So those of you guys know that Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani, they are now engaged, by the way, everybody. And... Um, that is all. That is all I got to say on that. That is all I have to say on that note right there. So, congrats on their engagement, by the way. They were judges in the Voice, and they just announced they're engaged. So, congrats to them on that. And what a big honor that is. So, that's all I got to say, everybody, on that note. That's all I got to say. And also, another thing I want to point out, by the way, NXT's Halloween Havoc. Halloween Havoc comes back in 20 years. NXT's Halloween Havoc comes back tonight. Tonight, everybody. On my 27th birthday, that's hosted by Shanti Blackheart. So NXT's Halloween Havoc will be hosted by Shanti Blackheart tonight, everybody, on USC Network. And that happens tonight on my 27th birthday, everybody. This is a birthday gift I won't forget right there. And this is amazing. This is a must-see, must-watch. You'll see, you know, Io Shirai defend the NXT Women's title against Candice LeRae, Poison Pixie Candice LeRae. You'll see um, Dex Loomis take on Cameron Grimes in the House of, Hor House of Horrors match. House of Horrors Terror Match. You'll see um, Johnny Gargano taking on um, Damian Priest for the for the NXT um, North American title. Rhea Ripley takes on Raquel Gonzalez. So I got to say on that note, and um, best news yet. I can tell you that right now. So once again, everybody, NXT's Halloween Havoc, hosted by Shanti Blackheart, comes on tonight. 
live on the USA Network, by the way. And that happens on my 27th birthday tonight, everybody. So it's must see, must watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. Check it out. And uh, that that is all I, I got to say on that note. So there's nothing more to it I can say. And um, that's that's all there is you need to know. So another more to it, everybody, on that. And that's all I got to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it right there. For the 20 cent, for my 20 cent birthday edition of the Clue that was Sports Sport, please be sure you always like subscribe to my 20 cent birthday edition of the Clue that was Sports Sport. That is, tell me, send me your comments, and tweet your extra thoughts on the Dodgers. You know, paying paying off like Kobe Bryant when they walked out seven time World Series chance, by the way, after 32 years since '88, by the way, and and uh, return the favor. Let me know about the comment section. I will I will be more than happy to just respond to everybody on that as well. We're thinking of Scorch Seager as the um. World, World Series MVP. He doesn't just Turner. That is, even though he had coronavirus, by the way, what are your thoughts about where we're going to be waiting him, even though he may have violated the COVID 19 protocols? What are your thoughts about that? I'll respond to that. Send those prayers out to um, Trace Mother's family members, all his fans, his viewers, subscribers, and colleagues out there. The pro wrestling industry, the, the horrific loss of Trace Mother's himself. What are your thoughts about? So send thoughts and prayers out to him, his family members, and his fans. Use the hashtag recipe, Trace Mother's. That's all you can do, everybody. He does a Serena Deeb, by the way, winning the NW Women's Champ, by the way, and defending it, by the way, tonight on AW Dynamite. We thought about that. I'll just sponsor everybody on that as well. That's a college deal not being traded to the Seals for BJ Finney and a seventh round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. We thought about that. I'll just sponsor everybody on that as well. If that's a Wisconsin's fo football game against Nebraska being canceled due to the coronavirus cases in the Badgers program, we thought about that. I'll just sponsor everybody on that as well. That's all that I gotta say for now on that. Wait, that's what Rip McCuss could be waiting to Terrence Davis since he was arrested for domestic assault on his ex girlfriend. By the way, thoughts about that. I'll just sponsor that. Everybody's gonna be you think gonna be kicked out of the team. Let me know about that. I'll just sponsor that. It doesn't throw up prior and his girlfriend, ex girlfriend, Shalea Briston, being given probation. Let me know about that in the comment section. I'll just sponsor that everybody as well. That's some three men with football players, another, another individual be, being um charged after they got into a brawl. Let me know about the comment section. I'll talk about the way that's in the hip hop. 2020 BT BT Hip Hop Awards last night. We talked about that. Just sponsor everybody that as well. Sing congrats to um Carl to um Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. They they got they announced they are engaged. By the way, everybody on the engagement showcase. We so sing congrats to them down below in the comments section. That's all you got to do. And also, ladies, more importantly, please send me your your birthday wishes out to me. I turned 27 today, so send your birthday wishes out to me down below in the comments section. Your birthday shout outs, your birthday tweets, everybody. Please be sure you do so on that. That's all you guys got to do, everybody. So that's all. That's all there is. So send me your birthday wishes. Send me, send me my birthday wishes today, everybody. My 27th birthday is today. So send your birthday wishes out to me, everybody. Down below in the comment section. That's all you got to do, everybody. And that's all I got to say. So I'll be on my way breaking news. Same time level. This is the time on the Clubhouse Sports Board. And this is the the 27th birthday edition of the Clubhouse Sports Board, everybody. And that's all there is to what I can say. And uh, that's all there is to it. So take care, everybody. You guys have a good evening. Happy 27th to me. Be safe out there, everybody. Bye bye. We were so excited about this opportunity. We're just getting started on NFL Live. Rookie QBs Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert have both had impressive starts, but Marcus thinks.